This is the 2019 Math Kangaroo Levels 9-10 Prom Number 30. If any digit of a given four-digit number is deleted, the resulting three-digit number is a divisor of the original number. How many four-digit numbers have this property? A, 5, B, 9, C, 14, D, 19, or E, 23. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test, and here is where we will be doing the solution. To start, if we have a four-digit number, A, B, C, D, the problem states that if we delete one of the digits, the resulting three-digit number is a divisor of the original number. Therefore, A, B, C, D divided by A, B, C will result in a positive integer, and A, B, C, D is also divisible by A, B, D by ACD and by BCD. So let's start with ABCD divided by ABC. We know ABC must go into ABCD perfectly. So let's write this. Okay, so if it goes in once, we are left with a remainder of D. And again, we don't have any remainder because it goes in perfectly. So D must be equal to zero. Now let's look at the second one. A, B, C, and now we can write 0 as being D over A, B, 0. So the zeros will cancel, giving us A, B, C over A, B. And again, A, B must go in to A, B, C perfectly with no remainder. It goes in once, and we can see, again, we're left with a remainder of C, which means that C must be also zero. Now let's look at the third one. A, B, C, D over A, C, D. And again, D and C are both zero, so we can replace the C and D with zeros. So we will get and cancel the two zeros to get A, B, over A. This means that A must be a divisor of AB. And we can write AB as being equal to 10A plus B. So this means that A must go into both 10A, which obviously it does, and A must also be a divisor of B. Now let's look at the fourth one. We got A, B, C, D, sorry, over B, C, D. And again, C and D are both zero, so we can write them as being zero. And then cancel the two zeros to get us A, B over B. B must be a divisor of A, B. And again, we can write AB as being 10A plus B, which means that B must be a divisor of 10A. So if we know that A must be a divisor of B and B must be a divisor of 10A, we have three possible scenarios. B can be equal to A, which would give us the numbers. And again, we're going to add the two last digits as well, which we know are both zero. So it'll give us 1,100, 2,200, 3,300, 4,400, and so on until 9,900. So that's a total of nine numbers. Or we could have B be equal to 2A, which would give us 1,200, 2,400, 3,600, and 4,800. 
And again, in this case, we know that a must be less than or equal to 4 because it's a two-digit number, so it wouldn't make sense for a to be 5 because then b would be 10 and that wouldn't work. So a must be less than or equal to 4, which gives us four numbers. Or we could have b be equal to 5a. And there's only one number for which this works because if a is greater than 1, it wouldn't work because b would be 10. And they must both be digits. So we would have 1,500, one number. So nine numbers plus four numbers plus one number would give us a total of 14 numbers, which is answer choice C. Thank you so much for watching, and please like, comment, and subscribe.